Does research begin with formulating the title, especially when you do quantitative research? This is the question that we are going to answer in this video. Good day. My name is Dr. Arthelo Palma. I am a uh, book author and uh, a publisher and at the same time a research consultant. I am a PhD in development research and administration. And today let's discuss the topic about quantitative research. Are you ready? Okay, but before anything else, okay, allow me to tell you that uh, many of my friends approach and ask me about the best title for their academic research or study. Typical to their experience is the uh, difficulty of finding what topic to choose. This scenario preoccupied them with the idea of uh, selecting the best title to get started. In all honesty, I told them that academic research doesn't begin with formulating the title. The first crucial steps in doing academic research are reading the works of others or uh, doing the uh, literature review and uh, observation. So let's take the case of quantitative research. This uh, type of academic research works under the uh, principle of uh, deductive reasoning. Or simply, okay, one's thought begins from the general to the specific. This thought is under the uh, worldview of positivism, a philosophical insight that contends uncovering the truth must include numbers and uh, discovering the small details is essential to understand the whole, okay? For, for instance, okay, uh, taking a sample from a population to survey or understand the majority's opinion about the next president, for example, in this country, that, that actually it, it is a positivist approach. It is about taking a small portion Okay, to conclude the whole, taking a small portion or a sample from the entire population, okay, taking a small portion to conclude the whole. Now, along the way, this involves uh, numerical analysis and the reason why quantitative research uh, uh, includes quantifying okay, information in the form of uh, statistics and other numerical analysis. So now let's go back to the point that academic research doesn't begin with a title formulation by taking into account the uh, process associated with quantitative research. Okay, now quantitative research begins with a theory. Suppose you have a theory here, the heart of the study. Of course, your theory is the heart of the study or the lens of your study. And suppose your theory says intelligent people are successful. And from that theory, it's essential to uh, uh, derive a proposition, okay? You have to derive a proposition. Uh, if your theory is the heart or the lens of your study, your proposition should relate to the theory, your observation, and literature review. So suppose from your theory, you come up with a proposition like this, intelligent people have good financial status. Look how similar they are in thought, okay? Now, uh, you have to gather and read the literature for you to be able to uh, find the research gap. This is the reason to investigate more of your proposition as evident in literature. So suppose you found out, after you read the literature, you found out that uh, there are only a few studies on people's intelligence and their financial standing in life. So that's a very good point that you really have to go through um, the uh, gathering of data. You have to push through with your study and, uh, of course, uh, back it on or, or uh, answer your proposition or discover more about your proposition based on the theory. Okay. So now, uh, after you gather the uh, research gap, or after gathering the research gap, you should read more, okay, the, the literature to find out for the variables. These are actually the measurable components linked to your proposition. For example, intelligent people or intelligence, okay, it, it cannot be measured right away, okay, because it's an abstract concept. So that, therefore, you have to find for variables that you can actually associate or link to intelligence. And after reading the literature, you found out, okay, uh, it's 
IQ score, okay? That's a variable a link to your uh, link to intelligence. Another is financial status, okay? And the variable after reading the literature, you found out that the variable associated with financial status is or are the bank savings of people or individuals. Okay, that's another variable. Now that you have your variable, you may now proceed to um, formulating your hypothesis. This is the, just a version of your proposition, but this time you have to integrate your variables. Okay, so take note in your proposition, you have this abstract concept, but here in your hypothesis, you already have variables, something that you can measure. So here, your hypothesis would sound this way. People with higher IQ scores have higher bank savings. Okay, so now that you have your hypothesis, you can now proceed to your statement of the problem. These are actually questions that are specific, measurable, achievable, uh, realistic, and time-bound based on the hypothesis. So take note, your hypothesis says that people with higher IQ scores have higher bank savings. So now you can ask some questions, okay, in your statement of the problem. Number one, what are the IQ scores of the respondents? Number two, how much are the savings of respondents in the bank? Take note, these two questions are related to the variables of your study. You're just asking the first variable, what are the IQ scores of the respondents? The second variable, how much are the savings of respondents in the bank? And number three, okay, this would answer your hypothesis or this would uh, allow you to test your hypothesis. This next question here, what is the relationship between IQ scores and bank savings of the respondents? Can we say that people with higher IQ scores have higher bank savings? Well, of course, we have to answer that question number three by gathering the data, analyzing the data at the, uh, of course, uh, at the end of your study. Okay, now suppose, okay, your respondents are coming from Korea or say Koreans. Okay, these are your respondents, the Koreans. So now you can have your title, IQ scores and bank savings of Korean. So don't forget to include the two variables you mentioned in your hypothesis or in your statement of the problem. Okay, that's it. If you want to know more about uh, quantitative research, you may visit my site at www.apbpublishing.com or you may visit my store on Shopee. Of course, I provided the link in the, uh, at the uh, description or in the description of this video. So you may uh, visit my store on Shopee if you want to uh, buy my book. The title, of course, is Academic Research, The Easier Way. If you want to know more about research, please, uh, you may try my book and learn more here in my book. So that's all. I hope you learned many things today. Thank you very much for listening. That's all for today. I hope uh, you will, if, if you want to know more about research and if you want to have more videos like this in the future, please uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.